do you need muscle mass for cricket? Our main aim when it comes to weight training for cricket is to increase our force production and strength training does exactly that, but you can actually get stronger without increasing the size of the muscle. And vice versa, you can also increase the size of a muscle without gaining strength. But these aren't two ends of the spectrum completely, and there is some relationship between the both. As I said, you can get stronger without building muscle mass, but there comes a point where you will hit a wall. And that's why there's uh, weight classes in sports like combat sports and Olympic weightlifting. Let's take two absolute sports as an example, like bodybuilding and powerlifting. So with powerlifting, you are just testing uh, absolute strength. So in their sport, you are measuring a one rep max of a bench press, a deadlift uh, and a squat. So their style of training is going to be completely uh, dedicated to getting stronger. But if you look at a power lifter, they have a massive amount of muscle mass. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, you have someone like a bodybuilder who probably has the same or even more um, muscle mass than a power lifter. But on average, um, they won't be as strong. And that is on average. Now, you will get some outliers in the world of bodybuilding who are extremely strong as well. Um, but on average, they won't be as strong as power lifters. I like to see it as your muscle mass being your potential strength, but you need that dedicated strength training to fill that potential. So with relationship to cricket, you don't need masses and masses amounts of muscle mass but you will find a point where, say you're doing your dedicated strength training, you may find a point where you plateau severely and you may go through then a period of gaining muscle mass to then help with your strength training later down the line. Now, people still have that opinion about muscle mass that you won't be able to turn your arm over and you lose all your flexibility if you put on a little bit of muscle mass, but don't listen to them. There isn't that much downside to um, putting on a bit of muscle mass. Now, I'm not saying you go completely down the bodybuilder's route, but a little bit of muscle mass is definitely going to help you and it's really going to aid in your strength training. The only really downside if you put on loads of muscle mass is going to be the weight that comes with it. So there's finding that balance of how much that is going to affect your conditioning. So now we've gone through what sort of training you want to be doing. Let's go through the differences in the style of training so you know um, how to go about either putting on a bit of muscle mass or gaining some strength. So your strength training is all going to be based around them lower rep ranges. So you're talking one to maybe five reps at most. You're going to be having more rest um, between your sets. So you're looking at three to four minutes rest. So you're looking to be fully recovered um, or more or less before you go into your next working set. And when you progress, so week on week, you're looking to progress um, the weight or the resistance week by week. And that is how you're gonna get stronger. That is your progressive overload. Whereas when you're looking at your hypertrophy training, again, you're gonna be in them higher rep ranges with a higher time under tension. So again, you're looking above five reps um, but one great tool, which I've learned in like the last maybe year or two when it comes to hypertrophy training, is to use tempos. So you get real, real great um, hypertrophy stimulus on the eccentric part of the movement, so the lowering part of the movement. Um, so when you're bench pressing, that is going to be um, from the top of the rep coming back down to your chest. So when I'm doing stuff like that on our programs, where we always prescribe a tempo. So we do like a three seconds on the eccentric part of the movement. So we move nice and explosively to the top part of the movement in the bench press, and then it's three slow seconds all the way down to your chest. And that is great for your hypertrophy. And again, then that increases your time and attention. And that is something you don't really want to do in your strength training because that is really fatiguing. And you're gonna then lose um, some benefit and some stimulus from then your concentric part of the movement. Um, and then with hypertrophy, the way you want to progress week on week is going to be through the volume. So say on week one, you do three sets of eight. Um, then next week, you want to stay at the same weight and then look to go three sets of nine. Or even if you do two sets of eight and one set of nine, working really close to failure on this. So they're going to be sort of one rep, maybe even looking close to failure. If you don't know what failure looks like, it's good to go to it once, but you don't need to. You need to be looking one to two reps before failure. Um, there's not much difference, the study showed, between the difference between going to failure and going one to two reps short, but going to failure is a lot more fatiguing. So again, yeah, progressing volumes, you're gonna go three sets of nine and then the week after three sets of 10. 
Again, you probably don't want to go too far down the line in terms of going all the way to say sets of 20. What you may do, depends on how many weeks you're spending um, on your hypertrophy stuff, maybe go to three sets of 12. Gonna get really good volume at that working weight then, which you've kept the same over the weeks. Then you may look to come back down to three sets of eight and put the weight up and then go through the same progressions again. So you may come back down, go to 70 and then work up in the volume at 70 kilos again i hope that helped and i hope that all makes sense but if you have any questions stick them in the comments below and i'll go through as many as i can um, we also have a free ebook which has a wider range of free training tips sort of like this and i'll stick that uh, in the description for you before that's completely free stick your email in and we'll just send it over to you if you want to see what strength training sessions look like we have videos with the full sessions on them uh, going through a full week of strength training um, so if you want to go check out the first day of that um, go and check out this video here